When the trumpet of the Lord shall sound And time shall be no more And the morning breaks eternal bright and clear Chosen ones will gather over on that other shore When the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there When the roll is called up yonder When the roll is called up yonder When the roll is called up yonder when the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. On that bright and cloudless morning, when the dead in Christ shall rise, and the glory of His resurrection share, all the saints will gather to their home beyond the sky. When the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. When the roll is called up yonder, 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 I'll be there. Let us labor for the Master From dawn to setting sun Let us talk of all His wondrous care And when all this life is over And our work on earth is done When the roll is called up yonder I'll be there When the roll is called up yonder 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 I'll be there when the roll is called up yonder I'll be there when the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. Good morning. Welcome to worship at Bethlehem Lutheran Church. We're happy to have you here via Facebook. If you're here, it's because God brought you here. Come be a part of what God is doing here. Um, you can take a moment to share the greetings with one another in the comments section. If you're watching later on YouTube, you can send a message to Pastor Dan at pastordan at bethlehemsturbridge.org. Worship materials for today's service can be found on our Facebook page. That's facebook.com, Bethlehem Sturbridge. And for those on our email list, those materials were sent out this morning. If you would like to join our email list, please send your contact information to office at BethlehemSturbridge.org. Bethlehem creates our prayers with your requests. Please post whatever prayer requests you have in the comments below this video on our Facebook page. Okay, so for prayer requests that have been submitted, Carol asked that we pray for our country as we enter a new chapter of our history. And from Lois Dupre, a prayer for my son Kirk as his birthday approaches the 10th of this month. Woohoo! Happy birthday! <laughs> From Beth St. Clair, prayers for peaceful times. Thank you. 
and lots of good mornings. Good morning to you all from us here. <coughs> We have a prayer for um, teachers and students as new um, information has come out about returning to schools and, and things around that, and just generally for teachers and students. If there are no other prayer requests, we will continue. We will continue with Light into the World, Hope for a New Day. Make your face shine on us, O oh Lord. You are our hiding place and shield. celebration. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also, and also with, with you. you. We'll continue with our gathering hymn.
Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Amen. Our first reading today is from Psalm, Psalm 38. O Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger or discipline me in your wrath. For your arrows have sunk into me and your hand has come down on me. There is no soundness in my flesh because of your indignation. There is no health in my bones because of my sin. 
For my iniquities have gone over my head. They weigh like a burden too heavy for me. My wounds grow foul and fester because of my foolishness. I am utterly bound down and prostrate. All day long I go around mourning, for my loins are filled with burning and there is no soundness in my flesh. I am utterly spent and crushed. I groan because of the tumult of my heart. O oh Lord, all my long is, longing is known to you. My sighing is not hidden from you. My heart throbs, my strength fails me. As for the light of my eyes, it also has gone from me. My friends and companions stand aloof from my affliction, and my neighbors stand far off. Those who seek my life lay their snares. Those who seek to hurt me speak of ruin and mediate treachery all day long. But I am like the deaf, I do not hear, like the mute who cannot speak. Truly, I am the one who does not hear, and in those mouths is no retort. But it is for you, O Lord, that I wait. It is for you, O Lord my God, who will answer. For I pray, only do not let them rejoice over me, those who boast against me when my foot slips. For I am ready to fall, and my pain is ever with me. I confess my iniquity, I am sorry for my sin. Those who are my foes without cause are mighty, and many are those who hate me wrongfully. Those who render me evil for good are my adversaries, because I follow after good. Do not forsake me, O Lord. O my God, do not be far from me. Make haste to help me, O Lord, my salvation. Word of God, word of life. Thanks, Thanks be Thank to God. God. Our second reading is from 2 Corinthians chapter 4. We are afflicted in every way, but not crushed. Perplexed, but not driven to despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Struck down, but not destroyed always carrying in the body the death of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may also be made visible for our body. For while we live, we are always being given up to the death for Jesus' sake, so that the life of Jesus may be made visible in our mortal flesh. So death is at work in us, but life in you. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. According to Luke, the 18th chapter. Glory to you. Then Jesus told them a parable about their need to pray always and not to lose heart. He said, In a certain city there was a judge who neither feared God nor had respect for people. In that city, there was a widow who kept coming to him and saying, grant me justice against my opponent. For a while he refused, but later he said to himself, though I have no fear of God and no respect for anyone, yet because this widow keeps bothering me, I will grant her justice so that she may not wear me out by continually coming. And the Lord said, listen to what the unjust judge says and will not grant and will not God grant justice to his chosen ones who cry to him day and night? Will he delay long in helping them? I tell you, he will quickly grant justice to them. And yet when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on earth? The Gospel of the Lord. 
from the Synod. Steal away, steal away, steal away to Jesus. Steal away, steal away home. I ain't got long to stay here. Mm. O oh Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger. Do not punish me in your wrath. For your arrows have already pierced me, and your hand presses hard upon me. There is no health in my flesh because of your indignation. There is no soundness in my body because of my sin. For my iniquities overwhelm me. Like a heavy burden, they are too much for me to bear. My wounds stink and fester by reason of my foolishness. I am utterly bowed down and prostrate. I go about in mourning all the day long. My loins are filled with searing pain. There is no health in my body. I am utterly numb and crushed. I wail because of the groaning of my heart. O oh Lord, you know all my desires, and my sighing is not hidden from you. My heart is pounding. My strength has failed me, and the brightness of my eyes is gone from me. My friends and companions draw back from my affliction. My neighbors stand afar off. Those who seek after my life lay snares for me. Those who strive to hurt me speak of my ruin and plot treachery all the day long. But I am like the deaf who do not hear, like those who are mute and do not open their mouth. I have become like one who does not hear and from whose mouth comes no defense. For in you, O Lord, have I fixed my hope. You will answer me, O Lord, my God. For I said, do not let them rejoice at my expense. Those who gloat over me when my foot slips. Truly, I am on the verge of falling and my pain is always with me. For I admit my iniquity and am deeply troubled over my sinfulness. Many are those who are my mortal enemies, and numerous are those liars who hate me. They repay evil for good. They accuse me, though I pursue what is right. O oh Lord, do not forsake me. Be not far from me, O oh my God. Make haste to help me, O Lord of my salvation. Steal away home. I ain't got long to stay here. Hmm. A psalm written so many years ago but how appropriate is it for our time? Yeah. I hear 
so much depth of emotion, not just in your beautiful singing, thank you, Jeanette, but in, um, in, in the words of that spiritual and in the words of this song, um, to name the deep pain yes. and the deep loss and the um, sense of, of hopelessness uh, at times, mm -hmm. a sense of disconnection from God. Um, and I know that I know that I have felt that in 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 these months, especially in other times in my life. And I and I as I talk to others, I know so many of them have been experiencing that feeling. Mm -hmm. And it's a feeling that um, you can't just brush off. You can't just say, OK, I'll feel better tomorrow. I know there have been times when the day has been pressing for me. And I end up saying, you know what? All I need is a good night's sleep. And I often just go, okay, whatever took place today, I'm leaving it in yesterday and looking for a better morning and a better tomorrow. And I think um, so many, in so many instances, we have to push through what we're feeling. The grieving, the, the sorrow, the sadness, the disappointment, the shock, all of those things that, you know, it's almost like someone slaps you mm. and you ask yourself, did that really happen? Is that really happening? Wait a minute, they're slapping me again and again and again. And uh, here's this psalm that's crying out from, from the depths, from the depths. And I think sometimes all that is needed is for someone to hear that and not say, oh, you'll be all right, or, or uh, have a good meal, go to sleep, and, uh, or go on vacation even. You'll be better <laughs> after you've gotten some rest. And when you think about that, well, gee, maybe that's what I need to do. And then you think, oh, if I go someplace during these times, even that's questionable. So um, it's almost like, okay, as David is, is talking how he feels in this psalm, I think that it expresses the, the depth of grief that so many people are experiencing even now. I think we can consider ourselves extremely blessed in so many ways. And yet, I think that blessing requires us to not just hold it to ourselves, but to be able to walk alongside those who are experiencing any any problems, any situations, any challenges. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, even the scripture says that we should weep with those who weep mm -hmm. and rejoice with those who rejoice. And in the time of weeping, it's a time to just come alongside. And sometimes that coming alongside is just your presence being there or just the acknowledgement and saying, I may not totally understand, but I certainly stand with you. I stand with you in prayerful agreement that this, this valley of the shadow of death, so to speak, that experience will be one that you'll be able to get through it. And when you're through it, you'll know that I've been there alongside you. Mm. It reminds me of that, uh, I think it's the story about the footprints when they see the footprints in the stand, sand and it's like, God, I know that you were with me, but there was a time when things were really bad and it was only one set of footprints. And the response is, well, that's the time that I carried you. So I think um, there are times when we need to be carried and that carrying can be done by our sisters and brothers in the family of God. Yeah, absolutely. I, th I think what strikes me, what you're saying is, is that um, the power of just naming um, the the pain and the grief and and having it heard and um, and at times echoed just to say I have heard that you said this and I'm I believe you I'm with you um, I'm going to say it with you um, as we were talking about and getting ready for the sermon um, you challenged me to really name the lament because I think I was feeling some reluctance to to really go there and name it. Um, and I think, I think we really have a, a, always in our, in our world a depth of pain that is beyond what many of us can, can imagine. Yes. Um, 
I think right now we we're so aware of 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 it uh, in in different ways. Um, it's it's the pandemic, right? It's it's all the things that we have lost and continue to lose day by day in the pandemic. Um, the way in which it's affected uh, uh, people in our communities and some communities more than others. Mm -hmm. We've been um, especially aware uh, of the systemic racism that has been a part of our society and our world for um, forever um, and and needing to name that and 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 walk together towards something something new um, the as the fires burn in the west mm -hmm. uh, I, I think about all the people who are struggling through that and and naming that that, that we are watching and, and working with them and thinking about climate change um, and then on top of all that, each of us has our own our own losses, right? All the things that that come in our own individual lives that are um, missed by the news, but are are really um, huge to each one of us. Mm -hmm. And um, it's so much pain; it can it can overwhelm us. And I I wonder that that's sometimes why we're afraid to go there. Uh, sometimes why I'm afraid to go there is that uh, what if we get stuck there? Uh, what if we can't get out of that? So I kind of uh, remember the words that Jesus speaks so often, and he says, fear not. <laughs> fear <laughs> not. <laughs> and as even as you were uh, talking about the losses, I thought about how the losses that we don't even realize that we've lost, because mm. the gifts that we have as members of the body of Christ to share with one another oftentimes we negate those gifts mm. because of that fear. And I, I was talking with someone earlier and we were talking about how, like we're on this chat, this video today, but we might be the answer to someone's prayer. And if we are not open enough to say, okay, whatever that person is praying for, maybe they're just praying for someone to listen. Maybe they're just praying for someone to grieve along with them. Yeah. Maybe they're, they want someone to cry with them and to just let that, that emotional thing that's kind of you're holding back and you're like, okay, what am I supposed to do with this? Well, if someone comes along and says, you know what? I really do care. I really do care. And the response might be one of anger but it's not anger at you as the individual who's coming, who wants to come alongside, but it's because so many people have said for so long, I don't care. And they've said that, shown that by their actions. So when someone is willing to say, okay, I am afraid, but I'm willing to take this step. I'm willing to reach out to my sister, to my brother, to that member of God's family and put myself aside because whatever they may have as a gift that is unpacked, that I need to unpack, I want to be able to do that. I want to be able to, <laughs> it kind of reminds me of the, of the scripture when, um, I guess it was the disciples, I'm not, not even sure who, but they were together. But then they said, um, it was good for us to have been here. You know, and I think sometimes even in those conversations, they may be challenging, they may be the, the conversations that at times we want to run away from. I don't want to have that mm. conversation. I, I, don't want to, I don't want to talk about that. But then after we're like, okay, I'm going to do this, we step into that place and we hear and we listen and we add and we, we take away something that we didn't have before that conversation started. And oftentimes that's just a little bit of hope. And hope to be able to say, my hope is renewed, that's amazing. Mm. Because, okay, going back to the scripture again, that says weeping may endure for a night. There are people who are crying night after night after night. And sometimes there aren't any more tears, and, but they're still sorrowful. So for someone to say, huh, you know what, I think, I need to hear more of what you're going through. And the story may be repetitive, but because it's repetitive, because it's been pressed down for so long, mm -hmm. and it's just these layers. And as members of the body of Christ, we, we ought to be able to say, you know what? My being comfortable 
and my me other members of my family are uncomfortable, then that's not fear. That's not what Christ is calling me to be and to do. I think you had the scripture the, in the gospel, well, in, I think, Corinthians that you were going to share. Yeah, I was, well, I was just thinking that. It's right. It's that there's, um, that, that we carry with us in our bodies the death of Jesus um, and, and, and also the life of Jesus. But, but if we deny that, that death, uh, that's part of our world and part of our lives, um, we're denying a part of, of the body of Christ. Um, whether we deny it in ourselves or in, in the neighbor that we're called to, to walk alongside. Um, uh, and at the same time, that, that scripture gives me a, a great sense of hope um, because I know in hearing that, that, that Jesus hears us. Um, there are times when neighbors fail us. When, when uh, I, I know there are times when I fail to be the neighbor, to be the the person that's there, walking alongside and and listening and and echoing. Um, and yet, God God hears and God proclaims. Um, God speaks those things that uh, feel to us unspeakable, uh, and that's. Um, that's a that's a great hope to me, and it, and at the same time, it calls me to to keep pushing through that fear, to keep to keep naming it and going there. Um, it gives me that confidence to to carry forward, mm -hmm. um, to keep pounding at the door until uh, until we reach that that place when God sweeps us up into the the new heaven and new earth. Yes, yes. But in the meantime, there's work that has to be done. Amen. <laughs> there's challenges that have to be met. Um, there are obstacles that through Christ we can overcome and we can't be afraid. <laughs> and if we, I think if we come together and start naming what those fears are, as opposed to just kind of, mm -hmm. uh, they're only in my mind, they're only in my thoughts, but we'd be surprised that a lot of people are thinking the same thing. Mm -hmm. And the scripture, Christ still speaks to us. Fear not. Don't be afraid. I'm with you. I'm with you. Oh, I don't know, Steve. I've got a, a song that I'm hoping is filled with a little bit of hope. And I'd, uh, I'd like to hear it. All right. I'll share a little bit of it. I won't go through the whole kit and caboodle. <laughs> I'll just do a little bit of it. But it's uh, in, some, in many respects to me, it's a, it's a song of hope. And it's a soothing song. And it goes like this. There is a bond in Gilead to make the wounded whole. There is a bond in Gilead to heal the sin sick soul. Sometimes we feel discouraged and we think our work's in vain. But then the Holy Spirit revives our souls again. There is a bond in Gilead to make the wounded whole. There is a bond in Gilead to heal the sin sick so and I think that's the healing that we all need. Amen. We will continue our worship with the hymn of the day. We will be singing verses one, two, and five. Lord, give me the great commission. You give me the great commission.
The word of the living God is written on tablets of our hearts. You are our God, and we are your people. With confidence in God's grace and mercy, let us pray for the church, the world, and all those in need. Holy God, you rouse us to deep praise as we gather for worship. Enliven our worship with sincere and heartfelt song. Sustain the work of all church musicians and artists who lead us in praise and prayer, especially Boyd, Mike, Beth, Victor, Aaron, and Dave. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord of the people, you made us in your image and you call us good. Silence voices of shame and hatred, including the ones in our own heads, and inspire us to love ourselves and one another the way you so desperately, passionately, and deeply love us. Teach us a fondness and delight for our bodies as we are called to live in them, in all of their holy, messy, fabulous glory. Teach us to love our neighbors who live in different skin, to love intelligences and abilities of all kinds, and loving kindness most of all. Make us bold in our proclamation that the lives and loves and gifts of lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, ace, queer, intersex, native, black, brown, incarcerated, disabled, and migrant people matter to you. And so they matter to all of us, manifest in both word and deed. Lord, in your mercy. Holy Creator, surprise and delight us with the beauty of the world you have made. Bless the work of landscapers, architects, and artists whose work invites us into harmonious living with your creation. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. prayer. Holy Judge, let justice roll down like waters over this world. Reign over the courtrooms of every land, in the hearts of those who guard the law and those who stand accused of crime. Be present in cases where we long for both justice and mercy to prevail. We pray especially as we enter this new chapter in our country and all of the legalities that will go before it. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Holy companion, console those who feel lonely or abandoned. Share the hours of those who live, alo- who live and eat alone. Comfort those who have new friends, who have few friends, or who struggle with their identity and place in this world. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Holy protector, we will be with all observing Veterans Day. Guard the lives of active duty and retired military personnel. Comfort all who mourn those who have died in the line of duty. Heal the wounds, both physical and mental, experienced by service members. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Lord, today we pray in celebration for birthdays on the 10th of this month, Kirk and Bill Seaborn's son. We pray today for healing for Joyce Appling. We pray for healing for Scott Stroshik and his continued. We pray for those with COVID and those who are in quarantine. Today we pray for teachers and students, that the teachers may feel empowered to return to a safe space to work and that students may be nurtured by those teachers in this time. We pray for peaceful times and we pray for an earthquake that happened just as we were beginning our service right here in our neighborhood. Lord, in your mercy. Holy and immortal one, we pray in thanksgiving for lives of all who have died. Remind us of the frailty and shortness of our own lives and inspire us to use them for the building up of your kingdom. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for all who are suffering from COVID-19. Be present with those who continue to suffer long-term symptoms 
comfort those who have lost loved ones, empower and give courage to the medical professionals providing care at the risk of their own health, and finally strengthen those who are working to develop a vaccine so that we may see an end to this pandemic. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Receive our prayers in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior, until that day when you gather all creation around your throne, where you will reign forever and ever. Amen. 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 Jesus came and stood, about, stood among the disciples and said, Peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And also, also with you. Let us share a Facebook comment, like, love, or laugh of peace. Remembering God's overflowing new life among us, let us gather our tithes and offerings. I was standing by my
God's goodness and mercy. We return to you a small portion of the abundance you have given us. May we use your gifts of mind, body, spirit, and possessions in ways that are pleasing in your sight. Guide us in your will that we may more fully serve you in both charity and love. Amen. Let us pray using the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, Father in, heaven, in heaven, hallowed be your name. name. Your, your kingdom, kingdom come, your, your will be done, done on earth as in heaven. Give, give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. is that um, for next Sunday, could you please get all the names of veterans into Beth St. Clair? We would like to pray for all of our veterans by name, and so we would like to have that list compiled for next week. So if you could send Beth St. Clair um, an email telling her the names, and her email address is? You can send that to office. Uh, send it to office at Bethlehem's. Um, Sturbridge and we will get them compiled. So if you know Beth, you can send it that way. Otherwise, please send it to office at Bethlehem Sturbridge and um, we will announce our veterans next Sunday in um, commemoration of them. Uh, the second announcement I have is that our council meeting, which is normally scheduled for this coming Monday the 9th, has been postponed to the 15th, the 16th. The 16th. Um, so Monday the 16th we will meet as a council. Are there any announcements from the congregation? Mike has one. Oh, Mike has an announcement, sorry. Okay. I, I just wanted to mention that um, last week we met on Pastor's Zoom call and it kind of came out of the forward leadership group. They were talking about um, doing something over Advent season to um, deliver ba you know, goodies to um, members of our church in need. So anybody who needs, you know, who's going through this time and is having difficulty, Pastor will maintain that list. And uh, we've, uh, we've applied for Thrive in Action grants. So I know Beth has, I have, Pastor has. So we're going to get about $750 and maybe even more to be able to, you know, um, we will, to, to get food out to folks who need it. Okay. Really. So if any of you are feeling in need, please contact Pastor Dan at Bethlehem Sturbridge. And anyone who would like to help with that, um, can contact uh, Mike Wimberly, um, anyone on forward leadership, Beth 
um, Melanie Gronsky, myself, um, or you can leave a message with Pastor Dan. All right, and then we have two other announcements uh, from Melanie Gronsky. Uh, to pledge an amount for next year, please email our financial secretary, Barbara, at BethlehemPledge at gmail.com. Please include the amount, frequency, and your updated contact information. As of right now, we have 12 families who have pledged $57,800. Last year, we had 32 families who pledged $89,300. So please do help us get an accurate amount to budget for next year and uh, send that email in the next week if you can. From Heather Miranda, the youth group will be holding a Thanksgiving food drive, collecting items for Thanksgiving meals for families in the community on Saturday, November 21st. Uh, we'll be doing a drive up, drop off food items at church setup. Uh, more info to come in the e-bulletin. And kind of just follow up on that, the youth uh, yesterday went and helped at uh, Bethlehem's Plaza, so uh, they have been going out and doing a bunch of stuff. So just because they're confirmed doesn't mean that they are, that they're all done. So they are, uh, they're coming I hope back. not. We're, 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 we're never all done. <laughs> I hope not. None of us are ever all done. We're in a lot of trouble. <laughs> You're not all done, kids. No. Okay. Um, just to add in um, to the announcements about the pledges, um, now more than ever, we as a congregation need to hold on to, I'm standing here looking at three banners in the back of our church, and we need to hold on to the hope that we have as a community. And we need to remember that our faith is what is going to bring us through this, and the love that Christ has showed us that we might share with others. Um, and based on those three symbols staring back at me, we really do need to have um, members sharing that commitment um, and thank you very much to those who have if there are no further announcements um, we will continue with the benediction may the Lord bless you and keep you may the Lord and said, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. Go now as light into the world. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Be God. Oh.